In today's hyper-connected world, how much time do you spend on social media? Have you ever wondered what effect it's having on your mental health? In this video, we'll explore the connection between social media use and mental health, backed by real-world data. Let's dive into the numbers and stories behind this modern phenomenon. Global Social Media Usage Social media has become an integral part of daily life for billions of people across the globe. In fact, there are approximately 5.17 billion social media users worldwide, which is about 63.7% of the global population. This means that nearly two-thirds of the world's population is actively engaging on platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. But social media usage isn't limited to just one platform. The average user interacts with around 6.7 different social media platforms each month, showing the diversity in how people connect, share, and consume content online. Whether it's posting photos, watching videos, or staying updated on current events, people are hopping between platforms more than ever. On average, individuals are spending 2 hours and 20 minutes per day on social media, consuming a wide variety of content. That adds up to a significant chunk of time each day dedicated to scrolling, liking, and commenting on these platforms. When we look at specific platforms, YouTube and Facebook continue to dominate the US market. 83% of US adults use YouTube, while 68% are active on Facebook. However, platforms like TikTok are quickly rising in popularity. In just two years, TikTok usage among US adults has grown from 21% in 2021 to 33% in recent surveys. With no signs of slowing down, the number of social media users worldwide is expected to keep rising. By 2027, the global user base could reach 5.85 billion, further cementing social media's place in the fabric of everyday life. The Impact of Social Media on Mental Health Let's start by looking at some of the negative impacts of social media on mental health. Increased risk of depression and anxiety. Studies have consistently shown that excessive social media use is linked to higher levels of depression and anxiety. For example, teens who spend more than three hours a day on social media are at a significantly higher risk of developing mental health issues, including anxiety and depression. The constant comparison to others and the pressures of online validation can take a toll on young minds. Sleep disruption. Scrolling through social media late at night, whether on your phone or tablet, can interfere with your natural sleep patterns. This can lead to sleep deprivation, which has been closely linked to various mental health problems, including mood swings, stress, and an inability to concentrate. Body image issues. For many, social media is a place where idealized images and lifestyles are constantly on display. This can lead to body dissatisfaction and lower self-esteem, particularly among young users who feel pressured to live up to unrealistic beauty standards set by influencers or celebrities. Although social media is designed to connect us, it can sometimes have the opposite effect. Engaging in passive consumption, like endlessly scrolling through feeds without interacting, can actually increase feelings of loneliness and isolation. Instead of fostering real connections, it can lead to feelings of being left out or disconnected from real-world relationships. On the flip side, social media also has some positive effects that shouldn't be overlooked. Social support and connection. Social media can be a powerful tool for social support. It allows users to stay connected with friends and family, no matter the distance. It can also help people find communities of like-minded individuals, whether they share hobbies, interests, or life experiences. This sense of belonging can be crucial for maintaining mental well-being. Additionally, social media provides easy access to valuable information and resources, especially when it comes to mental health. From educational content to coping strategies, and even professional help, users can find support online when they might not have access to it elsewhere. The relationship between social media and mental health is undeniably complex. It's not simply a case of good or bad, there are many factors at play. The type of content you consume, the nature of your interactions, and individual differences all contribute to whether social media has a positive or negative effect on mental health. Mindful and balanced engagement with social media can help mitigate some of these negative effects and enhance the positive ones. The Rise of Social Comparison and Cyberbullying Platforms like Instagram often foster an environment of comparison, where users constantly evaluate their lives against those of influencers and celebrities. 
Studies show that nearly 70% of teens have admitted to comparing their appearance or lifestyle to someone they follow online, which can lead to poor body image or low self-worth. This phenomenon, known as social comparison, can significantly impact mental health by creating unrealistic standards and fostering feelings of inadequacy. In addition to social comparison, cyberbullying is another serious issue. Approximately 37% of teens have experienced some form of online bullying. Cyberbullying can lead to long-lasting mental health challenges such as depression, anxiety, and in some cases, suicidal thoughts. The anonymity and reach of social media platforms can exacerbate the effects of bullying, making it more pervasive and harder to escape. Despite the challenges, social media can be used in a way that supports mental health, if approached mindfully. Here are some practical tips to help you stay in control. 1. Set screen time limits to avoid endless scrolling. 2. Unfollow accounts that make you feel bad about yourself. 3. Focus on positive, meaningful interactions with others online. 4. Take regular breaks and spend time offline to reset. Social media is a double-edged sword. While it connects us to the world and allows for incredible opportunities, too much of it can harm our mental health. Remember to take control of your online habits and use social media in a way that benefits you. Have you ever noticed how social media affects your mental health? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more data-driven insights.